honestly, ever since that last one, you get even more. The tweets, the Facebook messages, forum spring, Skype calls. It's ridiculous. And you know, ever since I started doing those 2012 promos, ever since, which if you think about it, because all this happened on Raw, this was perfect. This was absolutely perfect. Because I didn't even think about that until I saw the first one a few weeks ago when they started doing this stuff. Uh, what was it? They had a the little Twitter thing and they hit a little YouTube link about It Begins. Over the past few weeks, it's evolved. And so did the promos we did each week. Co no copyright at all, infringement intended at all. Which is not why I'm doing this at all. Because if it was, I would have talked about it by now and it would have been an issue solved. But, every week, and if you think about it, one of those is tonight too. Another one of those is on Raw tonight. And they've been starting to show them on TV. And you get to wonder if it's Chris Jericho, or if it's The Undertaker, or if it's someone we don't even know. Or someone that we do know in other companies that might be coming here in 2012 to the WWE. But that's a different story for a different time. What I'm talking about, the people are saying ever since I started using those promos, ever since I started using those, forever I, when I come back to HWRP, the HWRP universe, wherever it's HCW, let it be Experience or BWA or wherever. Ever since. I've been getting noters, and I've been getting notes, I've been getting mail, I've been getting everything. And this dog is going fucking crazy right now, which is another store for another time. But, the fact is, people are going insane. They're even going to the point where they're like, hey, why don't you come back early? I'm a man of my word. And I don't care if it's a fucking idiot like Armando wanting me to come on late last night because he's bored as fuck when he can get someone else to go on with him. And these dogs are going fucking crazy. Well, as I speak, there's three of them. They're going fucking crazy right now. My dog and the other two dogs. But that's short for another time. The fact is, people don't want me to go. I've been gone for like 10 or 8 months. I've been gone everywhere. To SOS, to a wrestler unstoppable, to fucking Mexico, fucking Germany, Japan, everywhere. But more importantly, and I hate bringing personal stuff, like I said in the last one, I hate bringing personal issues, especially on the midnight of Christmas Day, Boxing Day in Canada. So happy Boxing Day to all those Canucks over there. But. You want to bring this, and I hate bringing personal issues like I said before, but like I said last night, my grandma can't move. I'm going to spend as much time as she can, and of course, my other grandparents, who just got back from, well, they've been here the whole week, but they just came back a few minutes ago from Choctaw. They were gambling in Oklahoma. They won pretty big. That's another story for another time, and they're coming, and they're leaving Tuesday, and I'm trying to spend as much time as I can with them. Family is first. Bullshit is second. Everything else, I don't give a shit. And it will happen in due time. Like I said, ever since this 2012 shit's been going on, wherever I come anywhere, Armando, you of all people, you wanted me to come to the experience. I wasn't even going to say anything about this. You want me to come there and make your company great. You want me to come there and make something of it. You even wanted me to be management a few months ago, and I'm like, I don't want to do that again. I could have, but I didn't. And gave other people a shot. Wherever they bring me the Raw, SmackDown, Clusterfuck Championship Wrestling, I don't care. It's my time, and even if I come back in 2012, I don't know how long it'll be with all the drama and all the shit in my personal life, which I also don't like bringing into these videos. But you know what? At this time, you might have to to get them off your fucking back like a fucking monkey, just rocking there, just climbing on there, choking you to your dear life. 
with a fucking monkey wrench or whatever the hell. And Armando's case, a fucking burrito and shit. Or a fucking iceberg because fucking Mexicans in Canada are fucking fucking frostbacks instead of wetbacks because they're so fucking frozen, their brain is frozen as well. They don't know shit. And the fact that you people keep pestering me. I love the fans. I do. But too much. Too much. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want tweets. I don't want... Well, actually, I do, but not about this. This is ridiculous. It's the holiday season, for fuck's sake. Everyone's busy, including George Truly. Everyone's busy. And you guys bring more shit and dump it on a fire that will never extinguish because not only the fire of the haters keeps burning inside me because they fuel my fire, but the idiots, they're like, when are you coming back? Where are you? When is PCW coming back to SOS? Why is it coming to SOS? What is SOS? Why do I care? What is Sierra? I don't know. I don't care. The fact is... You want to keep this up? I'll do a few idiots in due time. Plus, there's an idiot trying to be me, which we settled that. We got that settled. That idiot is no more. And if he still is, I'll find him, kick his ass, and make sure he never wanted to be me. Because I had this eat him extreme shit. I had the extremist shit. I've dealt with more things in my eight years than you have dealt with in a lifetime. Now, listen. I like taking time off. I love being gone from the drama. I love being gone from all the shit. I really, really do. And I said I would come back, and at this point I might even have to come back to bash some skulls and knock some sense into some of you because you won't leave me alone. It is ridiculous. I hate it. I'm okay with it at times because people don't know any better. They don't know anything, and I have to explain it to them. But at the same time, people that know, they're like, oh, come back anyway. Come back anyway. We don't give a fuck. You come over here out of extreme. Come here, come here, come here. No. It's not your time. It's been the same way it's been for my entire career, on my own terms. That's probably why I didn't succeed in HCW. That's probably why I, didn't, I succeeded in a lot of federations, including HCW, HWF, everywhere in the fucking world. And maybe that's why you're not here, and I am. And the fact is, I don't care what you have to say. I really don't. I love the fans. I love the fan interaction on the social medias, on, in the arenas, backstage, hotel rooms, wherever. But for the love of God, and for the love of Jeebus, stop it. It's annoying. Please. Now, probably by the time this video, you're done watching it, you'll be keep doing it. You'll be keep doing it, and I have to tell you again, because people like you like repetition. You have to have repetition in your snow, in your slow, thick-headed brains, as well as your egos. They love to be fed with this shit. And I know all about that, because I was one of those people. But you know what? You gotta sit back. You gotta stop and smell the roses. Because you know what? If you don't, your ass is gone quicker than a hiccup. Never be known of again. And I am still relevant in 2011, going into 2012 for some fucking reason. Even though I've been gone forever. And I'm still in SOS. I'm still in other places. And I don't give a fuck about you or any other people. Well, actually, I do. But that's a different show for another time. The fact is, you want to keep it up. Then stop it. I swear to God. When I do come, if it's five months from now, two months from now, five fucking days from now, whatever it is. I'll find you, I'll fuck you up, and that's the end of this, because Lord knows I can go forever about this. It's ridiculous. Fuck all of you guys. Fuck you.